Hi all of you. We start with a chapter called electrolysis. Yeah, beautiful chapter. Lot of concept, but it's fun, man. Okay, now what exactly is electrolysis? Now in this chapter, first there are a lot of experiments. A lot of experiments. Yeah, we need to understand it. It's a huge chapter, but it's actually quite compact. Same things are repeated. It's concept, concept, pure concept. All right, electrolysis. Are, what exactly do you mean by that? First, it is a decomposition. The words, the key words I'm writing. It is a decomposition of a chemical compound. Now, let's say there is some chemical substance, copper sulfate aqueous. That means it is a breaking. It is a decomposition of a chemical substance, which is either in an aqueous state or it can be in a molten state, not solid state, right? When? When will that decomposition take place? When there is a passage of current, Zzzz, you're passing current, man. When you pass current, the chemical substance breaks. It breaks to form ions. Come on, ions are charged particles. So they form ions. And when they form ions, after they split up, there is a breaking. They swim. Swim is not the word. The word is discharge. Henceforth, when I'm going to use the term discharge, it means swimming. Simple Lehman's term. Right? So come on. Look, there is a chemical substance. This is in aqueous state or it is in a molten state. Okay. Uh, on passage of current, I stands for current in physics. Okay. When current is passed, it breaks up. Damn, it breaks up. When it breaks up, it decomposes on passage of current. And what does it form? It forms ions. Ions are charged particles. And these ions, they swim. The word is discharge towards their respective electrodes, towards the anode and the cathode. Yes, we've heard about that. Anode is a positive electrode and cathode is a negative electrode. So guys, if I happen to draw a flow chart, look at it, man. It's, it's awesome. So decomposition, of whom? Of aqueous substance. By what? By passage of current. Now when you pass current, yeah? Uh, ions are formed. The ions are discharged. They swim, man. Towards the respective electrodes. And they form the respective neutral atoms. That is how the process flows. Beautiful process. And this entire process is called electrolysis. Now we, have, we, must, we must know about a couple of common things. In a beaker, yes, if you take a solution, that solution is called electrolyte. Or we call it as an electrolytic solution. Then we have the rods. We have the rods. Yeah, this is one of the rod. This is another rod. Right. One rod is connected to the positive terminal of the cell and the other rod is connected to the negative terminal of the cell. Now, if this is positive, it is a big slash down. This is a small slasher and that's plus and a minus. The current always flows from positive to negative and inside it goes this way. We're talking about current and it completes the path. And the current flows. Now remember one thing. The rod which is connected. This one. Let me paint it pink, red. This is called anode. Anode because it is a positive electrode. This one. I shall be painting it with a blue always. Right. We'll maintain color combinations. Cathode will be blue. Anode will be red. Come on man. Just, just remember the color combinations. This is cathode negative electrode now listen to me the current enters enters from the anode and the current exits bye bye from the cathode that's how it happens entry is from the anode exit is from the cathode right first thing so this setup the setup is called 
an electrolytic cell. So we call this as an electrolytic cell. These are called electrodes. This is simply a battery or a cell. If there is a single slot out, we call it as a cell. If there are multiples, we call it as a battery. And obviously there has to be a key to switch on. Right. So this is how the things look like. Okay, this is an electrolytic solution. Now, one thing, if I take an example of NaCl solution, NaCl aqueous, right, NaCl aqueous. Now what happens is, forget about aqueous for the moment, just focus on NaCl. NaCl breaks up, man, it breaks up to give Na plus and Cl minus ions in the solution. Now these are ions. This positive ion is called a cation and the negative ion is called an anion. The cation flows towards the cathode. Look what happens. A cation, it swims up towards the cathode. The cathode is an electron donor. It gives one electron. Take away one bloody electron. It becomes sodium atom. This becomes a sodium neutral atom because it has lost the charge. Yeah, and this process is called reduction. The chlorine, it releases, it loses an electron at the anode to form a chloride anion. Sorry, the chloride anion loses an electron to the anode, forms chlorine atom. And this process is called oxidation. Now remember one thing, chlorine can't ever, can't ever be alone. It is a diatomic molecule. So this step is essential.